In this field, and that's why she's the favourite. A field of 11 going, 1100 repeaters in race one. La Romero goes in, that's the favourite. In this field of 11, it's good to see Frank Quested back on the rostrum about to start of his uh, opening race of the third day. Good to firm track conditions. They're under starters' orders, and the gates are open. There they go. And Coco Scorpion on the far side, fast into the stride, so to Swan Lake. And well away to Royalty and La Romero running wild, and it's Swan Lake going into the lead by half from Royalty La Romero easing up into third. Coco Scorpion lead of the pack and kind of Samantha wasn't too well away. She's been up a lot of ground and she's gone right into back fourth. Running wild on the inside, then a gap of two back to lead of the pack. In fact, Flaming Tigress and uh, Coco Scorpion. Uh, then they're followed by Bright and Windy and Loquacious. And uh, then comes Muppet Baby and way down at the back, uh, not making much headway. It's our lead of the pack. For the leader, it is Swan Lake. Uh, this filly now being joined in the lead by the favorite, La Romero. A gap of three and a half to Royalty losing her place as Cutter Cemento moves right into third. A gap of two and a half uh, behind Royalty to Running Wild, who's under strong pressure. Five back to Bright and Windy. Coco Scorpion and uh, uh, behind this one, uh, one can see Muppet Baby and uh, Loquacious and uh, in fact Clement Tigress out of it, but it's all Swan Lake who's still in command. Uh, La Romero is not really fighting much inside the final 100 meters and the boy looking around as Swan Lake is going to do it on her debut, pulling away by three. Here comes Cadiz Amanda with a challenge, but it's all Swan Lake by three and a half, eased up at the post from uh, Cadiz Samantha. a fast finishing running while it was staying on at the end, gets third ahead of her favorite La Romero, who only got, uh, gets fourth here, then uh, gap to Royalty, Coco Scorpion, then Bright and Windy, Muppet Baby, Flying Tigress, and uh, now coming by us here, the winning line, one can see uh, Flaming Tigress and Loquacious. And there's the winner, really handsome looking daughter of Beheaded, the Creole sire who won the Eta Derby, and now stands out at Rancho Caballero stud in uh, Dabberley. So a fine performance, and uh, Beheaded certainly stamping his offspring, although he hasn't uh, had uh, too many uh, runners, but uh, certainly this uh, filly looks a lot like her dad, that's uh, Swan Lake, and uh, what a delicate victory it was too for Michael Lutchman looking around for danger, and it wasn't there, La Romero fizzled out, and it was kind of Samantha who threw down the gauntlet, but Swan Lake was home and dry, running in the colours of uh, Dr. Colin Dobson, and owned by Miss Dee Bassent, and trained uh, by Adolphus Cadiz, led by Donald Boyce, who led back the winner, there goes Adolphus Cadiz looking at his filly, who looks like she's going to turn into something pretty special this year, Swan Lake. Scoring in the opener from Cadiz Samantha and running wild in race one.